I've got four new cubes, so I'm just here to show them off. <laughs> These are from Z cubes in China. It took a long time to come, um, five and a half, six weeks it took to reach me. Um, like I said, there were a few issues um, with China Post, so I had to wait a long time before I could even place the order and get it processed. So it's it's a lot more than six weeks if you consider it effectively. But yeah, here they are now. Um, and I'm excited to open all four of these uh, wonderful cubes. Let's check it out. So here are the four cubes. Um, the funny thing is they are, all four of them are from uh, different manufacturers. So that's, that's something interesting. Um, I will go in reverse order of size, I guess. So let me put these away. And let me start with this uh, small one. This is by Moyu, um, even though it doesn't say Moyu on the cover, I guess. Oh, it does. It does say Moyu. This is called the Pandora Cube. Pandora, the opener of the box of chaos in Greek mythology. Um, Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not as good as Pandora at opening boxes, but okay, I've got it out eventually. So, here is the Pandora Cube. I bought this not because it's a very tough puzzle or um, something new in terms of the solve, but because the design is simply very, very interesting. Let me uh, explain. So, if you see the kind of cuts that are in here, it feels, it, it at first glance, it looks like a cube. Um, so it feels like it should turn on its corner, but it doesn't. Then we wonder, do these are these tips trivial? Do they turn? No, they don't either. So actually, the turning happens along these cuts, even though it appears that there is no cut here. It actually turns along this axis, like this. It's a very, very interesting uh, design. The thing is, it goes over the cuts because it sort of hangs over it. I think you can see what's happening here, how that uh, turning is actually happening. It's a... Uh, I think it's very beautiful, that movement is quite beautiful. So, um, in terms of the solve, there's nothing new about it because if you look at it, it is a 3 by 3 by 3. So this solves exactly like a regular Rubik's Cube. So there's, there's nothing new in terms of the solve, but it's not just about the solve, it's also about I appreciate designs like this and uh, I found it really interesting and I wanted to have this in my collection because I just love the way it moves. So that's it about the um, Pandora Cube I guess. Maybe I can just show some... Wow this is actually really really smooth but that's kind of expected from Moyu. Oh it's really smooth. Hmm. So um, there's a bit of trouble when you try to finger trick it because this kind of comes in, you know, snaps against your finger. So you have to keep it a little lower than um, you're probably used to. Uh, if you keep it here where we are used to keeping it, it kind of scratches across your, um, the place where your fingernails are and uh, it causes a bit of an issue. But I, I don't think anyone's going to be using this for, you know, creating world records or something. So I, I guess it's fine. and. Even the corner cutting is quite good on this. Let's uh, let me turn it a little to the side and see. That is really good corner cutting. I'm an entire piece away. Okay. Okay. I, I'll just move it a little bit. Okay. A little bit. And it corner cuts. The entire piece is moved to the side, and it still corner cuts. Wow. Let me try the reverse. Absolutely wonderful. This is a really good cube. It it might just be as good as my um, <laughs> um, Chi Thunderclap. Maybe a little less than that, but yeah, it's a really good quality, really good build, really nice colors, of course. Nice, very nice cube. I'm gonna keep that aside and move to the next one. This is by Wit Eden. This is um, the Mix Up 4x4, if I'm not wrong. So we have a picture of a 3x3 on the top, but that's not the cube. 
um, this is the one that I have I'll just show you the box just for your information you can see the tick mark next to the 4x4 mix up here is the VTN logo and their classic um, see-through logo and I have to open this now it's a lot easier to open than the Pandora cube there it is just gonna take it out move the box away and let me get this plastic opened up really quick ah beautiful I like the sound of plastic. Oh, I've ruined the cover. No problem. Here's a cube. This is what it looks like. It's quite big. It's quite big. Let me try a few turns at first. Ooh, it's very crunchy. It's like it's like biting into cereal in the morning or oatmeal or something. Mmm. Like eating a packet of chips. <laughs> very, very crunchy. And I feel like the layers want to move on their own. You see, it's kind of turning on its own. So that's not nice. Or if I hold this layer, then <laughs> The other layer sort of turns with it. You can see that happening. So in terms of the, the turning, it is not very smooth, but it is turning fine. It doesn't block up or something. So that's there, that's fine. Um, and yeah, it's, it's not a shape-shifting puzzle as you can very well make out. Uh, let me just try one of the mix-up moves right now. Let me try a, a regular mix-up move where I make the center as a as one of the edges okay there it is okay so it does shape shift I was wrong about that it definitely does shape shift this is what um, an edge looks like when it comes to the corner this is what the center looks like at the top as an edge now I'll just put that back <laughs> I don't want to mess it up too much um, one thing that I've been curious about is whether it can do a single mix-up move I think it most definitely can Yes, it can. That makes this all very interesting. Wow. Let me... Um, it's, it's already gotten pretty messed up. I had better move it back. Uh-oh. I may have screwed up. There and there. Yeah, I've most certainly changed something, but that's okay. Uh, I think that just gives me a reason to go ahead and shuffle it all the way. Let's see what it looks like when it's all shuffled up. I'll do some uh, regular 4x4 moves first. It's a little bit difficult to scramble because all of the layers are trying to turn together. When I move one layer, the other layers want to turn with it. And that crunchy effect also makes it a little bit difficult. Oh, there is some bandaging on this. Uh, right now, when the edge is on here, I cannot move this layer because this edge sort of bandages that. That's uh, something I didn't think of. But it's very easy to overcome that by just moving in a regular edge there, but then this one blocks it up. Okay, this can get tricky very easily. Oops, that almost popped. Yeah, I think that's a pretty decent scramble right there. 
um, quite a few of the centers and edges are mixed up and most of the colors are separated I mean they don't go together that's why I'm saying this is okay yeah most of the colors are separated and I think it's this is a good enough scramble it's pretty cool I'm gonna keep it aside now and up next is Feng Shi Lin Cube So, here is the Feng Shi Lim Cube. It says 3x3x3 by three by three mix-up cube. It's a little more than a plain mix-up cube. I really like this packaging by the way. It looks very premium. You can see the shine. There's a silver shine there as it says Lim Cube. Here you can see through into the cube itself uh, with a grayish stickering there. There's one more of these shiny layers. At the bottom they have a um, just some very useful information like don't put it into your mouth which is uh, very useful and there's a almost holographic thingy at the top very nice then oh the front is the best because there's a shiny red one very nice package uh, it, it's still cheap I guess because it's just cardboard with some shiny parts attached but it's a, it's a good touch I like this packaging I don't want to ruin it so I'm going to take it out carefully Here's a cube. Gonna take it out. Pink. Okay, that's no problem. Cause oh, it actually looks nice. All of the stickers, <laughs> the colors are really nice actually. When I saw the pink at first, I was a little bit disappointed, but then I think it's it's actually pretty cool. The whole color scheme. It's a slightly different color scheme from the ones that we are um, usually used to. Ah, oh, it feels. This feels great. I love the feel of it in the hands and the colors are amazing. I take back what I said about the pink. I think it's brilliant. So is the yellow, so is the blue, so is the gray, the green. And this, I, I'm not able to make out whether this is red or orange, but it's a really nice color. The whole cube is really nice. I love this. And what's really catching my attention is the black plastic and the way it, it sort of just listen to that, okay? I love that feeling. It feels really cozy in your in your hands. I'm loving it. Let me just make a few turns right now. I think it's wonderful. It's not smooth. Okay, I'm not gonna say it's smooth. Definitely not as much as a 3x3 or um, something. This is not a speed cube, definitely. You can't finger trick it like no you cannot do that it'll probably i don't know if it'll pop but it might so i'm not gonna try that right now but it's it's definitely a very nice moving cube it feels very nice in the hands let me try corner cutting though i don't have much hope since the corners are really really big yeah there's there's uh, almost there's very little corner cutting oh very poor corner cutting this cannot cut corners at all, not even by a little bit. You have to align it properly in order to have it move even a bit. Okay, so corner cutting is not great, but this isn't a speed cube, so it shouldn't matter. I think the turning is, it feels really nice. It's gonna be a very exciting solve. That's, that's um, I, I know that for sure. Um, as for uh, what I can do with this cube, I have a, another mix-up plus, that was the octahedral mix-up plus, um, the mic um, brushed version. So I guess this should be, um, this isn't a mix-up plus, this is a mix-up ultimate. Did I mention the name of this cube before? No, I didn't, did I? Well, this is, I'm telling you now, this is the Fang Shi Lim cube mix-up ultimate. So. What can I do with this? Let me just um, try one of the algorithms. I'll try the corner switch algorithm, but with these central portions, I wonder how it'll work out. Here, I guess. You are, and then just put it back, lift it up, um, put this here, put it back down, 
for this here put it back down let's just see what we've got now that we've done this uh, sort of uh, thing um, okay so it has switched three of the pieces as expected I mean even um, uh, Oh, it does literally the same thing as uh, on, on the other cube, which I was just talking about. It uh, it has switched. This piece has gone there and sort of flipped around. This piece has come here and it stays the same. This piece has come here and it's flipped around. By flipped around, I mean that the alignment is, is off. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it is not flat on the ground, on, on the face of the cube. It is kind of aligned inward it's sort of bent inward you can can you see it i'm not sure if i'm i'm making it very apparent on the camera but it's it's not flat anymore it is not flat i think this this tells you that it's not flat yeah it's kind of bent inward so this and this sort of bend and this doesn't so we can we can easily do that too um if i do that three times uh, probably it'll um come back to where it was the state that it was in uh, so let me just do that real quick there it is a second cycle it cycled it once again I'll just have to do it one last time and I think we should be good to go yep it definitely needs a little lube but it's still a very enjoyable solve already like right out of the box I'm enjoying the way it turns um, I might not shuffle it just yet I just want to um, see what I can do with this puzzle and how the pieces move and then maybe I will um, start with uh, shuffling but yeah really great colors really good build quality I'm very very impressed with this cube I, I, I love it that's all I can say about it I love it next up is the big one and boy is it big it's a lot bigger than the others you know this is the next biggest in my package and it's a lot bigger this is from a brand that I haven't bought before yet this is by MF8 um, they're not known for the best movement but um, they've come up with some innovative stuff and there are certain things that they make that no other brand really makes and it has come unstickered Oh, I'll have to sticker it myself, but that's not an issue at all. I love stickering. I find it a very cathartic experience. And here are all the sticker shades. There are a lot more shades than I thought there would be. Uh, let's take a look at the package first. I, I know I already sort of unboxed it, but I know I missed out the packaging. Let's just uh, look at that. So here it says 9 centimeters dodecahedron puzzle. So this is obviously part of their dodecahedral series. I'll tell you what it is in a moment. Um, here's their their products. The MF8 Megaminx, of course. Um, that's the most basic uh, form. Um, the Bauhenia. Looks like a flowery... It's like a Rex cube, that's what it is. I, I hope to buy that one day because I really like the movement of this. Then they have the Pentagram, the Curvy Starminx. Um, this is what I've got. This is the Curvy Copter. Uh, they, they've called a curvy copter. This is not a curvy copter. This is like um, the dodecahedral version of the curvy copter. Um, on, on the site, on the Z-Cube site, it was mentioned as the copter minx. Um, so I, I like that name. I'm going to go with that. The curvy copter minx. Um, it's a nice way to say it. Then they have the master killer minx and its elder brother, the giga minx, and the star minx. Um, I don't know if I'll buy those. But yeah, then here they have the cube series, um, the pentultimates, and the master and the void pentultimate. They're basically the same puzzle, just that one has that central cap, one doesn't. They're the exact same puzzle, literally, including the internal mechanism. Um, there's those two. Then they have the um, multi um, puzzles, a puzzle inside a puzzle. So outside there are there's the dodecahedral's cube, but inside there are either these dotted ones or the drital shapes, the crystal shapes inside. Um, let me just focus. Yeah, so on this one there are the, it's like a three by three, whereas this is like a crystal. And yeah, so that's the packaging.
Yep. Now on to the stickers. There are a lot more stickers than I need. I'm sure of it because uh, actually you need only 12 colors to be able to sticker every side. So here they are. Right off the bat there are a few that I'm not going to be using and there are a few that I'm definitely going to be using. Like this red, just look at this red, it's an amazing red. Wow. I'll just put this away because I'm never ever going to use that. Five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 12, and application tape. Okay, so I cannot let go of that. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to use that. So they've given us exactly 12 colors, so it's not like they gave us a choice. So the reason that they kept the stickering separate is not so that we could choose the colors. Could we just sticker it, I guess? I guess the, we can select the color scheme, like where to put each color. So that's still a benefit. Yeah. So those are the colors. I'm gonna make some space and then I'm gonna take this out of this plastic polythene bag. I've never seen a puzzle pack like this before. Okay. Wow. It's actually really heavy. This is... Ooh, this is really heavy. It's very heavy. What can I compare it to? It's as heavy as these two combined, which is a lot. Um, this is the helicopter minx or the curvy copter minx, as I said. Uh, curvy copter minx makes more sense. So it's an edge turner. It's exactly like um, a curvy copter, just that um, it has 12 sides instead of six. So on each face, instead of four turnable um, uh, faces, you're gonna have five turnable faces because each side is a pentagon. That's why this is a dodecahedron. I'm just gonna turn. Turns pretty well. Yep. Yep. Brilliant. Brilliant. No problems so far. Just when I say that there's a problem, it is stuck right now. But it's, it's, it's really nice actually. It sort of snaps into place, like snap, snap, snap. You know, <laughs> I like that feeling. It really does snap into place. I, 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 I really enjoy this. Um, I, I, I guess the solve should not be too different from um, solving a curvy copter, a regular one. Just that you have to do the same logic or algorithms a few extra times but and I guess on the final layer um, on the final layer the switching around of the corners and the edges um, it'll behave a little bit differently in the same way that a Mega Minx is different from a 3x3 the algorithms do slightly different things um, from a, a regular 3x3 in the same way this will probably have that same difference same difference if that makes sense um yeah it should be very much solvable and i love the way it moves uh, the curvy copter is one of my favorite puzzles so having a bigger version of it uh, a numerically more advanced version of it is very exciting about the size uh, let me compare it with a regular mega minx that i have here here it is next to a regular mega minx The side is not too much bigger, but it is definitely bigger. You can easily fit in your hand, you can hold it in your hand and solve it. Uh, you can't hold it with just your fingertips like you can do with the Mega Minx. Um, you have to, actually you can, but 
since it's an edge turner you sort of have to hold it and grip it in order to turn this like you can't you can't be doing stuff like this all the time you know so that's there let me just try one just one uh, jumbling move just to see what it looks like that is if I can possibly figure out how on earth that's done yeah no here and here whoa that shape is really freaky I think it's not showing up on camera because um, yeah it's not really showing up on camera because it's all black but the shape is really freaky and um, I, I'll get it sticker and then I'll get back to you on what that looks like hi it's been a while uh, quite some time has passed as you can tell from the massive change in the lighting it's it's uh, there's some bright sunlight on my face right now it's much better than the single tube that was going on before so uh, I spent some time and I've stickered the do like a hadron I solved a couple of the other puzzles and just had a few things to say and I will start with this one the mix-up ultimate so this is a very very good puzzle it is very fun to solve and I was mostly able to figure it out with just um, the basics of knowing how to solve a mix-up cube and um, um, also, since I had some experience with the Octahedral Mixup Plus, that, that also sort of helped. Um, just that much knowledge was enough to mostly solve it on my own. I, I faced one bit of trouble though, a sort of a, not exactly a parody, but basically one of these inner edges would be flipped. And um, uh, what that would mean is that I could not switch that with any other piece and I, I was struggling to figure out what to do with that. Um, then eventually I found a solution online from one of Kevin Sadler's videos. Um, wasn't exactly the same issue but one of the techniques that he used during the solve of his um, mix-up ultimate I was able to sort of customize it to um, solve this particular problem that I was facing and uh, it's a very very wonderful cube it turns much much better than it even uh, used to at first now it's totally broken in and I'm definitely gonna be um, solving this a lot because I really love this puzzle it's it's wonderful Next, let me just show you how it looks. The, 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 the helicopter mix, how does this look when it's stickered? The colors are brilliant in my opinion. Uh, the only one that I'm a little bit um, weird about is this gray, because it looks quite similar to the white. Um, it doesn't look as bad as it as similar as it does on camera, but it is still quite similar. So that even then, it's it's not really a big problem because um, the white and the gray don't share any of their colors, so it's um, it's not going to cause much of a problem. Also, the white one has the MF8 sticker in the center, though of course the rest of them don't. But yeah, um, I have sort of kept um, white at the top and all of the dark colors here around surrounding the white and all of the lighter shades surrounding the gray opposite to light blue there's dark blue opposite to light yellow there's dark yellow opposite to pink there is purple opposite to light green there's dark green opposite to pink there is oh i already said that it's uh, purple and opposite to red is orange it's kind of a very um intuitive um, um color scheme i think it i think it looks very good and uh, uh, it came with application tape that certainly helped uh, to speed up this process. I guess it took about um, 15 to 20 minutes to sticker it um, fully, which is, uh, it, it's uh, it's not perfect, but I think it's as close to perfect as it could be in that time interval that I took. So uh, I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Let's just do a few turns just to see. Uh, I know I already did a turning demo before, but you know, just to see how it looks with Whoa, a few hiccups, that's okay, it'll look something like this, I'm not going to do a full scramble right now, that'll take some time of course, it'll look something like this once it's done, I, I might do a solve video because I really love um, curvy copters and this is going to be really really fun and I'm uh, looking forward to this. Next up, 
what I have to talk about is the Pandora Cube. But maybe before that, um, just so that I don't end on a negative note, let me show you what has happened to my... Um, to my mix-up 4x4. It's completely exploded on me. It was turning very, very badly even um, when I started the solve. I was sort of getting to a point where I was starting to get the cube shape back but um, something just happened and it exploded on me and there are pieces still uh, stuck inside which are trying to come out. There are a lot of pieces that have come out. A lot. That's, that's a lot of pieces. Actually it's just three. It's this blue square, a green square and this mega piece but um, it, there are a lot of internal pieces too that have come out and I'm not sure what to do. I try to put it back in just like that but it, it didn't help. What I'll have to do is probably disassemble it, see how it looks on the inside and then once I've learned that maybe I can rearrange it properly. Because right now I'm not able to figure out where these internal pieces go or how they fit in in the whole scheme of things. So I'm a little bit disappointed with this cube because um, it seems like it, it would be fun to solve but it turns really really poorly. I don't know whether it's just this singular piece, this particular piece that I have bought or whether the entire range of um, or the series of puzzles is like this. Um, but from what I see online, I went online just to check out how other people have um, found this puzzle and uh, I think most people sort of agree that the turning is quite snaggy and not very smooth but um, I don't know if they face the same issue of it exploding on them every few turns so um, yeah that I don't know what else to say about that I'm just really disappointed anyway I'm gonna put this aside and just uh, show you the Pandora cube this is, as expected, it's a very easy solve and uh, I don't have much to say about this, just that it's really, really um, smooth, so it's really, really fun. I solved it like at least three or four times and um, there's, there's only one uh, downside to this. You cannot do M or E moves very easily because you cannot grip it. Normally, you would sort of flick it with your ring finger or your middle finger, but you cannot do that here because these corners would sort of hinder you. But apart from that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the cube and I don't even use uh, M. The M slice moves much anyway. I'm just a like, beginner solver of the 3x3. So uh, it was a very normal solve for me and I didn't take too much longer than I would a normal 3x3. It took me about a minute to solve or so. Um, I guess that's what it would take for most people. Um, it's a fun cube. It's, it's a fun concept and it's, it's nice. It's something novel. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, I just bought it for the design as I said and I'm quite happy with what I got. Yeah. So that's about it. Um, here are the cubes. Here is the, the exploded one as well. Uh, so yeah, that's that's it. Well, maybe I will try to make um, a tutorial video or a solve video at least of the ultimate and this dodecahedron because um, I'm really quite happy with how they turned out. So yeah, that's about it.